Hello, hello everyone. Happy Tuesday. Yes, it is Tuesday. Very busy week here so far. Um, my name is Ellen Woodbridge. I am an independent I am in the right place. Independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. Happy November. It is the 1st of November. It is crazy. I was just talking to my mum about um, children's Christmas gifts and getting our behinds into gear, trying to work stuff out. So, um, yeah, crazy. First of November, but first of November means new month, new things, which is very exciting. So, um, as you come in, please make sure you are saying hello. Hello, Jean. Welcome. Um, and yeah, make sure you're saying hello, giving me thumbs up, all those things that help you engage with me. And it also means that then you will start receiving notifications of when I go live and you um, can find me. Hi, Barbara. Hello, Vicky. Sorry, itchy. Hope you're well today. It's a very, very windy day um, here on the central coast of New South Wales, which is north of Sydney. I do have my window partially open. I can smell my lavender bushes just outside my window it smells like someone's dropped a couple of drops of um lavender oil in my room because it's so windy the flowers are being bashed together and just releasing the most amazing aroma and they're not like right next to my window they are a fair way away hey myrtle hey linda um so yes i'm getting this beautiful aroma so if i zone out completely it's from the lavender <laughs> but i'm hoping i'm not going to zone out today now let me just make sure that we can see everything that is happening today welcome welcome kathy okay ah oh, yes i have my camera angle right today i couldn't get it right last week now new month for me means new hostess code so i've made sure you can see it in the background of the video today um because i have a bit of a special going on this month for all my amazing customers in australia i have a giveaway i am good i'm good i've had a busy morning running around and so windy i i've lost all my hair into my pony today but that's okay um i've got an amazing offer for my amazing customers who can purchase from me in australia Oh, that's not good. Not good. It's not very warm here. It's quite a cool breeze, but we've got the whole house opened up. So for customers in the month of November and December, for every $90 you spend, you get to pick one of these 10 envelopes, which have a prize in them. And the prizes could be anything in this box so i did send out an email to all my email subscribers so we have some stamps some of this amazing if you remember it be dazzling paper um some more sparkle i've got some dazzling diamond glitter um some embellishments all kinds of things in here so i've got 10 so for every $90, you get to choose an envelope. Now, if all 10 of these envelopes get claimed, I will be giving away a mini Stampin' Cutting Emboss Machine from me. So that is what is happening in my world in November and December. So for every $90 order, you get to choose an envelope that contains a prize. If all 10 envelopes are claimed, everyone goes in the draw for the mini Stampin' Company Boys. It's a brand new one, not my pre-loved one. It's definitely a brand new one in the box. I haven't got it down yet. And I want to show you the real thing. Showing you a box doesn't help. So I do have that happening. 
happening this month now and next month so november and december and if all 10 envelopes go maybe very quickly i may have a second machine to give away um so the other thing that is released to customers today is the fitting florets so this is now a officially available so it's going to be very easy to spend those $90 increments hello Sheila um, so this is the bundle that is carrying over to the um, mini January to June catalog the gold swirls the fest framed and festive stamp set and the gorgeous paper so i'm going to show you a few cards that i've made with them we made this together in the unboxing video so if you go over to youtube you can see the unboxing video and us making this card together uh, this is my team swap that i can now show you because i shared it with the girls on uh, sunday when we had our team meeting so i've popped together the um oh, what's paper uh the santa express paper so these presents are from santa express and i've used um the framed florets dies the stamp set and the framed and festive is the sentiment there and i use the frame and festive sentiment again here for a very simple sentiment on a die cut banner so this was my christmas stamp thon card for this current challenge that is going at the moment that is birds <clears throat> please excuse me birds and branches so you can go and shop as often as you like to earn those or claim those prizes and you can grab the fitting florets products so these three products are while stocks last or until the 4th of january and the stamp set and the dies they are available now all the way through till the end of the mini catalog which is the end of june so that is all our news and i haven't even told you what we're playing with today we are going to do some embossing and we are using the brightest glow stamp set which has the most gorgeous um sentiments i love all the um fonts and i love the sizes it's a really nice mix of sizes and some inside sentiments and some outside sentiments and I'm pairing that with the Christmas season stamp set. So this is a carryover from um, last year's mini catalogue. And I still love it. And I've grabbed out my gold embossing powder, which comes in the metallics pack. So you get copper, silver and gold embossing powder all together in one pack which is good because if you have got one metallic you kind of want them all and they all work beautifully together and we're going to make this very very simple but stunning christmas card so i think what does everyone think of my offer for the month is it a bit fun and a nice way to end out the year i'm just going to set all this up and we are going to flick us over and get started oh no there's one more thing one more thing i had a visitor in my house my mum came over earlier and she bought me the most i don't i need to take it out of the water she bought me the most gorgeous rose from her garden and smells amazing. Sadly, her roses aren't doing so well this year, but she bought me a gorgeous rose, which I love her for. So she normally brings me a rose or two out of her garden. And um, we have just discovered we have a mystery rose growing in our garden. I think it's come through from the next door neighbours somehow. But we have a rose 
growing in our garden and I have no idea what it is so we will have to wait and see when it flowers so let's flip around did everyone is everyone having a nice Halloween if it is still Halloween in your part of the world we don't really do anything for Halloween here um, I did put something aside for a little neighbor um, she's for and I did put something aside for her um, but I wasn't home when she was out door knocking um, so I will catch up with her in a few days but she looked very cute from all the photos her mum shared on um, social media so let's flip her being very rude here okay I should be back can you tell me if you have sound please okay we are in the holder this is a good thing just let me see oh hang on we've got to flip around there we go that's better much much better let's see if the zooming gods will let us zoom in a little hello Lori. how are you I am going to refresh, turn off the light and see how we go. Now, if you hear a lot of door banging, it's because we've got all the, the house open because it is so breezy today. We just wanted to air the house a little bit i think that's about as good as we're gonna get today and these cards are actually really really simple to put together because i have everything set up on the stamparatus and i've closed the window so hopefully um we don't get stray um, embossing powder everywhere from the breeze because that is our worst enemy when we are heat embossing. So what we are using is the Merry Christmas from the Brightest Glow and then I have taken the Holly and the Berries from Christmas Season. And this is another card that I made that it's, sometimes it's just nice when I've got a group of people to have a couple of cards to use as samples. So who has these? Because they're very, very versatile. Okay, I think what I want to try and do is that i'm gonna have to stand up again and i sat down again okay rotten weather oh no that's not good no rotten weather is definitely the bane of our existences ah oh, that's better i think I think we will stay the way we are. I was just trying to get ourselves a little flatter. So we do have the Stamparatus here. And I made this even simpler than normally using the Stamparatus. So I've got a stamp on either side of this flap that we will, or this plate that we will need to flip around. And then our berries come in down here so we're using both both sides now if you want to store it like this it isn't going to store that way and i normally just take the plate out and pop it on top like that but you can certainly um, use both plates in conjunction like i'm going to today now the other thing that we are using is the embossing kit. Now this is in the mini catalog and it's amazing because I needed an upgrade to my embossing buddy. So I think you're going to be able to tell by the color 
of the label that this embossing buddy is a little old. It's also very, very flat and sad and has been extremely well loved over at least 15 years. So very, very well loved. I'll show you what the new one looks like. The new one has just got so much powder in it. It's ready to be loved and used. And um, I definitely need to have, I, I might keep it because it's good to remember where I came from, that I had this poor, sad little embossing buddy fellow um, in my life. But um, he's definitely been upgraded to the new one. You get this amazing tray. We get our um, tweezers, which have a plastic Teflon end. They don't melt. And you get a paintbrush. So the oh, it's not a paintbrush for painting. It's a great brush to clean out and get all of our embossing powder out of the tray slash funnel because it does serve both purposes. So this... Um, screws off and you can funnel it back perfectly into our into your pot now i need all my pieces so we're only using three colors of cardstock we are using um cherry cobbler we are using This is very vanilla and we've also got, and I do have one pre-done pre one in here that I did in class. We are using Evening Evergreen. So we're going to do two more together. And we may have an interruption from Lavender today. I did um, ask her to give me, to interrupt my video as she goes for her HSC exam. It's art this afternoon so what I do is I pounce this on and then I give it a lovely generous rub over now yes it leaves some residue that's kind of what you want because you don't want um, just going to pop the magnet there you don't want any of the oils from our hands causing static because it's such a simple card you don't want any stray pieces of embossing powder going anywhere so this is kind of the 101 for embossing is you start with your embossing buddy all over and then the ink we use is Versamark. Now on here it says it's a watercolour stamp ink. So it is clear and we can use it for things other than embossing. Because as you will be able to see, because we'll be using it a few times. So I'm just going to stamp down nicely. I think I'm going to give that a second going over. But you will be able to hopefully see that this does leave a nice dark watermark. I'm actually going to go once more because I've noticed. Are you off? Good luck for your art exam, sweetheart. I'll um, see you when you're home. What time do you finish? It's 3.30. 3.30. Okay, I'll grab Owen from school. There you go. Off for the second last exam. So I flip this over. I'm not doing anything with that at the moment. I'm very quickly going to come in with the holly leaves. And it was pointed out at my team meeting that these holly leaves might quite possibly be upside down. Now, the reason I did that was because I wanted the leaves to nestle um the sentiment so i wanted them to have this lovely nestling of left and right of the sentiment okay so i have done all of that so you can see we've got that nice tone on tone look and i'm just opening my gold embossing powder and i'm going to just do this and I'm going to very lightly 
so I'm just going to let that sit for a little bit just a few seconds and then I'm going to dump it off so that is now covered with embossing powder and I can safely pop this aside and then I will melt both of my pieces at the same time so this is something that you can definitely mass produce you just need a bit of space so you don't disturb the um the embossing powder because it isn't melted and it's just stuck to the versamark ink so i'm going to pop this into the corner pop that back down and do our second piece your leslie is yours as sad as mine because i'd love to know but then i've been doing classes most of the 15 years that I've had it <laughs> actually it's, well, I'll say 15 years to be conservative uh, it may be older than that I am not totally sure I know I blew up um, just through overuse so pull it out spin it around make sure it all goes in at 90 degrees I did not that long ago only a couple of years ago my um, heat tool died and I did have to replace my heat tool but that's okay I'm thinking my Versamark ink pad could do with some re-inking at the moment so that's why I'm just going over everything or most things twice and just do our berries but you can see how easy it is i could even do this um, in different colors i wouldn't have to um, do this gold embossing i could do exactly the same card using different colors of ink um, and achieve a different look but have the stamps in the same spot so I just want that to sit there and then pour the excess off so I just give it a couple of taps give it a look that looks fantastic now because I've used the tray I can just now pop that tray aside and deal with that cleanup later I've got a few stray bits on my desk but nothing major which is why I do like to use the tray so I'm just going to very carefully put my stamparatus to the side and we're going to preheat this is actually going to be a very very quick live today yeah yours is flat too maybe you need to upgrade yours as well Leslie maybe okay so that is nice and warm and what I'm going to do actually I might use these tweezers today because this heat tool only reaches so far so I'm going that just gives me some space away from the heat so I'm just going to keep it moving so we get some nice even heat onto this do some on the back as well to help the bowing and then I we can just see it change as soon as it changes move on because you can overheat your embossing powder and on cardstock that overheating starts to look very dull and then I just tilt it in the light to see if there are any dull spots that may not be actually melted now i'm happy with that i'll put that aside to cool and bring in my second piece now i need these tweezers do open quite easily this is seriously just the strength in my hands 
that I had to do that this way, this way. But for most people, they will not have an issue opening the reverse tweezers. And the good thing is, because they're reverse, they um, they stay closed. So I can do all of this without using all the strength in my fingers. Okay, so just keep that moving. look at it I think that is all good turn this off hello Donna hello Jacqueline thank you for joining so they are our pieces almost done there is one more step that I need to do with these pieces now you can do it with your hand or I always happen to have a microfiber cloth. Now, you do want to make sure it is cool. Now, to get rid of that um, residue from the um, embossing buddy, I do just, I used my hand for this piece, but I think this piece could also use a bit of a rub. But you can use a tissue, a paper towel. I just happen to have a nice microfiber cloth here that has cooled down. And you just want to get rid of that excess powder because it has served its purpose and we have done all the things with it. So those are perfect. I can now, whoops. Got my shirt caught up on the arm of my hand. I hope everyone is doing well. You girls are all very quiet tonight. Sorry, I've got dry throat today. Now, let me... I don't know that I have enough pieces of my vanilla. Okay, now, let's do this. So, no one stole my bone folder. It's right here where it's meant to be. Often I just cannot put my hand on it. But literally, this is the card base and the two layers of paper. Now, if you were to add something a bit extra to this card, what would it be? I did ask my team um, on Sunday and um, yeah they did say a couple of things that would could definitely work so I'd love to hear hello Delinda how are you tonight oh man you need a vacation what did I say I'm, I'm not even home tonight. I'm going out with a girlfriend tonight. Gold ribbon, yes. That was more embossing. Or do you mean a, like an embossed background? Gold ribbon would work. That was one of the suggestions. None of them suggested um, that a touch of vellum or bling. Where would you put the vellum? Linda, would you maybe replace the um, the very vanilla layer? I'm just going to see if I do have another piece over here. Because I'm normally very good at counting out my pieces. And I am one short. But that's okay. We've got plenty of time. Yes, an embossed background. Oh, I got my time of day is mixed up. It's been a very busy morning. I had a 9am appointment and then I um, dropped some stuff into work and I chose my new glasses. My new glasses are not either of the ones we spoke about um, in last week's video. It's a totally different pair because uh, my practice manager said, wait until we get the new frames in. And when I was in dropping in some stuff to them, 
um, I said, oh, did the new frames come in? And they came in today. So I tried them on fresh out of the box. And I tried on a number of pairs because I did have another pair I liked that we uh, must have sold um, because they weren't they weren't in the drawers um, when I was trying on glasses and I changed my mind completely. We decided the frames that I had chosen, which were the very unusually shaped ones, were a little too wide for my face. Oh, there's no, there's no pic of this one, Jacqueline. I did not take a photo, but they are blue and purple and tortoiseshell. So, yeah, you'll just have to wait and see. But we did totally change our minds. So the girls at work said, yes, Ellen, definitely this pair. And I went, okay. So I was listening to them. It's what they do. Um... At the front desk all the time they fitted like a glove so they fitted my nose really well not that i have a big nose or anything but it is one of the considerations when you're trying on a pair of i i know i disappoint me too jacqueline don't you worry now we do have a little bit of warping of um of these pieces because we did heat emboss so I am I'm I'm using a little different gluing technique to what I normally do because I really want these to sit flat now I've just gotta gotta be this is a very very little little mat on this paper it's just enough to make it look really special um, on the cherry cobbler. So I am going to put that under my F block and keep going. So that just means it's all going to adhere beautifully to the card. Whoop. See, I'm not so good at doing this bit, but I definitely need it for this panel okay so dots are out the door today i hope no one's sad at me but sometimes they're just not what we need okay so then we're just gonna pop this one down and then we're going to go one more And I confused the poor girls because they were looking at um, the, the lenses I got last time. And she said, have you got office lenses? I said, oh, no, no, they're my other glasses. I said, no, 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 we need transition lenses and I need um, the anti-reflective coating. And she goes, oh, I found them. They're called digital lenses. So... Oh, this one was not put on quite as successfully as the other ones that I did. And funnily enough, I actually don't have as much slip as with my dots. Isn't that funny? Okay, we're going to try no, just down a titch. I think I'm just going to have to reapply some glue here. I may do dotage now. Because this one does not want to play ball. Take 5,000. Uh -huh. That seems a little better. can't all be perfect so this one i'm going to put on the bottom 
Right, now I'm not going to add anything extra, but I really did. Hey, Corinne, thanks for sharing, everyone. I do appreciate um, when you share my videos out with your crafty friends. Um, oh, thank you, Corinne. They're actually really easy. We used the Stamparatus and we used um, just two stamp sets, a sentiment from Brightest Glow and two stamps from Christmas Season. So just three images and we're going on to Cherry Cobbler. So let's start taking these off. Now for these bits I can definitely use my dotage rather than my, um, going around the edges because we've definitely had them sitting under that weight. And I have left a little, oh my dear word, a wider, um, a wider border. So this um, evening evergreen is smaller than what I would normally um, do. So I think this is going to go back under as well. So I do like using this, especially these pieces, just the heat. And it's just that little bit of warping. It just needs a little bit of encouragement to be straight. I know some people have a book. I know someone um, that I watch uses a Dr. Zeus book just to pop the pieces in for five or so minutes. I'm lucky to have the desk space today to be able to use my big f block which you can tell is regularly used for this because it's covered in adhesive so oh, far out okay i think that is just going to stay just like that and that's gonna go under there ah nice i wasn't home for any of it david had three knocks on the door and we don't do halloween except i did do something for a little girl in the street but she ended up very tired and grumpy because she's only four um and by the time i got home from kickboxing last night with Owen it was she was tired and grumpy and she wouldn't have been good company to knock on my door ah. no 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 the block just needs going over with um I use orange oil um and it just needs a wipe down so you can either, you can put it in some hot um, dish water and wipe it down. But for this, I do that with my um, other blocks or I just go over them with some rubbing alcohol. But no, this one normally goes on sticky things and both my F blocks actually look exactly the same. So these are now really just that little bit of pressure for that little bit of time has really made these look amazing. So let's see if I can give you a close-up. Actually, this one looks better. I think because I gave it a little bit extra. So let me so I can get that in the light. And that is a perfect, simple, easy to mass produce um, Christmas card. Uh, I would do this last minute for sure um, to give to people. So I think this might be my go-to and I don't think I'm taking the stamps off these plates. I think they are staying there. Oh, that is so cute, Corinne. A lion and a leopard. Oh, that's so sweet. So, so, so sweet. Okay, that one has had enough time as well. Make sure you're not putting any pressure on this embossing until it is definitely um, dry. And uh, not dry, cool, because you don't want to be squishing down because you do get 
that little bit of um, texture of yeah texture as well like it's definitely tactile you can feel the difference between the cardstock and the embossing so I now have four of those cards which is great for my stash so I will just pop them like this now very very simple products today brightest glow stamp set christmas season stamp set we did use the gold embossing powder which i'm yet to clean up so we did use the whole kit the tray the paintbrush the tweezers and the embossing buddy which i'm encouraging leslie to purchase so it all comes as a kit um, but leslie you definitely do need to purchase this we need to upgrade all embossing buddies that aren't looking that are looking very flat because i did notice a huge difference as well when i was using my old flat embossing buddy i wasn't getting as clean of results and this new embossing buddy i'm definitely getting better results with there not being um stray embossing powder where i didn't want it so um that's a really good tip there that we that we do that as well um we use our heat tool which is just here on the edge it's still plugged in actually it stays plugged in all the time and the only ink that we used was versamark so that's all we needed um for the embossing powder to stick to our cards so I hope I've inspired you to make some simple cards, um, but with that pop of embossing. So just a reminder, and those of you that got here a little late, I am running a special in December and November and December. So for every $90 you spend, you get to choose a mystery envelope, one to 10. There are 10 envelopes and each envelope contains one of these prizes. And I have some glitter and oh, some embossing powder in here. So I've got some clear embossing powder and some of the flowers for every season um, embellishments. So these are great for shaker cards, which I showed the other week. So um, if or when all 10 of my envelopes are retrieved, everyone who earned an envelope and a prize goes into the drawer for a brand new mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. So if you are in Australia, um, you will need to use my shop link or contact me to place an order. Um, I will pop the shop link up. I wasn't prepared enough apparently to have the shop link now, but I will um, just let me see if I can go and grab that really, really quickly. But which prize would you want? We've got some gold hoops gold faceted gems, the tulle scalloped ribbon, perfectly pomegranate stamp set, the otters, the amazing dazzling, be dazzling paper. And then we've got the uh, shaker bits, some embossing powder. Which one would you want to choose? Which out of the number because i don't even know what's in there because i um shuffled them up and put them in upside down so i didn't even know the numbers on the envelope uh when i did it so make sure you put in the chat which one um which prize you would like and of course do you want to go in the draw for a um for a mini stamp and cut and emboss machine i know i do i love them they're amazing they are fantastic to use they are so smooth i've had other machines before and this one is just so 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 smooth so i did get that link 
and that's my shop link so for every 90 dollars a prize and if all of them are redeemed we go into the draw for a mini stamp and cutting emboss so if you need any help with anything please don't hesitate to um to contact me if do you want me to show you another class card on Thursday on YouTube? Or do you want to play with the um, framed florets, which is our brand new? Mm, glitter and 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 exactly Jacqueline exactly um, so I can play with the framed florets or I can go on with some class Christmas cards you tell me in the comments what you want to play with on Thursday and I will do that um, for you so have an amazing couple of days make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel um, to get a notification of when i go live at 12 noon on thursday oh you just ordered them corinne that's amazing so if you want to see me play with them make sure you write another comment and tell me so thank you all for joining me don't forget the shop link with my mystery envelopes and i will see you on thursday bye